Hello, this is Dr. Satish Singhal, Professor of Computer Science at El Camino College, Torrance, California. We have done three parts of the user-defined functions in C. Part three was about discussion of pointers. So this part is passing parameter to function using pointers. Okay, so that's what we're going to concentrate on. It was mentioned that uh, when we need to pass large blocks of memory to the function, let's say maybe print a large book or pass an array or a linked list, any data collected in large volume in one structure, then passing by copy or value where copies are made to the parameter pass to the function is going to be a memory hogger and in mobile devices it will actually kill the mem kill the battery so passing by pointers is more efficient we are going to demo that we won't demo the efficiency part of it but we'll demo that that why a large block of memory when passed to a function can be actually reduced to passing a small number of bytes when passed through the pointer in this case, we're just quickly going to go to uh, Xcode and show some code. And here it is. So here I have two functions. One is a function called guest sphere volume. And it takes parameter of the radius by a pointer, which means when we pass the radius of the sphere to the function, will pass the address of the variable where radius will be stored. And the print function does the same thing. It takes a data by as a pointer to that data and then it prints it. So let's first look at the <coughs> definition of the function itself. I'm going to fold this one for the time being. So a pointer to the data which stores the radius is passed to the function. And we are going to declare two variables, actual radius and a volume. So we mentioned in video number three that if we have a pointer and pointer stores radius with point T, and then we do a dereferencing on that or, or indirection on that by putting an asterisk in the front of the pointer variable. Then this is alias for the variable itself whose address is stored here. So in effect, doing this, you got the value of the radius. <clears throat> okay, and if you don't trust me, I can print the radius here, printf which will show up when we print it. And this will be radius of the sphere. Okay, so this is a floating point type, so percent LF. Okay, I wanna avoid printing too many decimal places. And slash N and actual radius. Okay, I'll just copy and paste that. So I didn't have to do that, but we can show that. Okay, so it printed actual radius. And you'll see that that would be the value passed by the main function. Now, since I dereference this pointer which had, which was pointing to the location where radius is actually stored, <clears throat> then this actual radius has exactly the value that location where pointer is pointing to. Now this is the formula for, um, okay, this I don't need, I suppose, <clears throat> for the volume where four by three into pi, this is the value of the pi, and I need to do <laughs> radius cube. So I'm calling the power function. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that one and not 
use this because this may be a little confusing to you so this is fine I'm gonna keep this one <coughs> so actual radius to the power 3 because formula for volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 into pi into cube of the radius of the sphere this function does the cubing another form of that is this that you can directly take the dereference value of the radius because after all that's what we did here reason I wanted to avoid that was that uh, I didn't want you to get confused with these two asterisks this one this one and that one because these two are, are totally different from this this does the dereferencing these two are multiplication so didn't want you to get confused with that so that's why I did the actual radius first and then use that okay <clears throat> print function is actually pretty easy the address of the data we want to print is stored inside the pointer my data and then we take the dereference value of that and that becomes alias for actual data so that will get printed okay we're going to run this program so for that i have to do okay actually i have to show the main function also so let's see the main function so in main function i have two uh, two variables my radius will store the radius wall will be the volume computed by this function <clears throat> so first i prompt user to enter the radius of the sphere should be a positive number but i'm not going to go into data validation scanf notice i'm passing the address because scanf requires takes a pointer as an argument so I have to pass the address of this unpopulated variable. So value you by entered by user is stored here. And notice that since get sphere volume takes a pointer to a double type, when I make a function call, I have to put the address operator in the front. <clears throat> so that address of this variable is passed, not the value. When if we pass by value, we wouldn't be doing this, and then we'll take off this also. But since we are passing by pointer, we have to have that pointer notation as well as pass by address here. And then in the main function, I say volume of the sphere of the radius, this one is printed by the print function. There's the same thing because print function takes a pointer to a double type only then it prints it print function is very easy right here so again i have to pass the address of the volume because the pointer here will store this address that i'm passing and the same thing here pointer here will store the address that i'm passing here and then later on in print function by dereferencing is printing directly in get vol sphere volume function I'm dereferencing the radius to get the actual radius storing in the, into that actual radius and then using it here okay you'll see that this works and this time we're not passing by value we're not actually copying the value either in this parameter or this parameter we are only copying the address and in a minute we'll print the address but let's first do the program with the values uh, okay so let me maximize this and I'll run it so okay how come it didn't run build failed okay why well, something happened okay we'll fix that okay yeah here asterisk has to be there so that i've been making that error all day today so let's fix that this will work now yeah will succeed it okay so 
I picked a strange value of radius, which will give us a sphere volume of one. And I thought I had it. Sometimes it doesn't work that well. Now it works. And radius sphere of this size. And this got truncated, by the way, is one. We'll put that in test run here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, notice that get sphere volume function prints the radius of the sphere. I did that right here. That is 0 0.62035, this, this, which is very close to the user value entered in the main function. So that means that when we dereference radius, we actually got the variable value where radius was stored through this pointer. Okay. So now, uh, I mean, I do understand that using name radius may be a little confusing. I could change that. Let's change that to PTR. Just add PTR at the end. Maybe that's, that will help you a little bit. Uh, I'll keep this as radius, PTR. That's not going to make any difference, although it might help you to understand a little better. Okay. I'm pretty sure the... <coughs> values remain the same, actually. And I do, do want to copy this one because this will give me a sphere volume of just one. Okay, let's close this again. And same same result, nothing changed. Exact same result. Okay. So that a slight name change so that you'll be a little less confused. Anytime you have asterisk, you're passing a pointer, pointer store addresses. Okay, so now I have to prove to you that to this function I pass the same address that is address of this variable. I mean, in, in a way it's, it's clear, hey I'm passing the address here so it must be address but we can print the address and show you. So let's do that. Let's print the address right here. So we'll do printf address of <clears throat> my red in main function. And I'm going to use percent ul so that I get the address in not in hexadecimal but in unsigned long. Okay, so that will be oh no, I'm sorry, not on yeah, address should be in unsigned long. Okay, so cast to unsigned long. And I have to put address of my red and that should work. I'm not seeing any compiler problem. Let me quickly compile it just in case. And it succeeded. And this time I entered just one. And that's address got printed. Okay, fine. Okay, so I'm going to take the same format 
and print the address stored inside this pointer radius PTR in the get sphere volume function. And if address printed by this line and this line is same, that means it was the same block of memory in both functions. Value was not passed, same block of memory was passed. So let me just get a copy of this one. And this I can print anywhere, it doesn't matter because already pointer has the address in it. <clears throat> and in this case, I don't need this, I just need radius PTR. Not the dereference value because that will become the value itself, but what is stored inside this pointer. Okay, this time we will run, we'll just concentrate on two addresses. Okay, this will not be in main function. This is get sphere volume function. Address of, address stored in, in radius PTR in get sphere volume function, okay? less and we're only going to concentrate on two addresses notice address of my red in main function that is printed by this line is this number we can just focus on the last four or five digits zero four zero one six l Add stored in radius PTR in get sphere volume function, same value. If you want to compare the whole thing, be my guest. But they're same. Which means that when I call this function, I passed an address to a variable. Variable is a block of memory. Since that address got stored here, same block of memory got passed to this function. Now, why is this important? Pointers are just four bytes. Pointers are just four bytes. Okay, double is eight bytes, so we are still saving four bytes here. But this could be any other thing like a string, which has maybe one megabyte, two megabyte worth of characters and since we are passing address of the large block of memory only four bytes will be copied from one function to the another so during duration of function call you're not making copy of the large block of data you're making copy of just the pointer and through pointers we can get access to the large block of data without copying the data itself. That's why passing by pointer is so important that it saves tremendous amount of memory. Okay, so we can also go through the debugging process and kind of show you control, although I mean, you already know about that. Uh, for that, I think I'll just put a breakpoint here, do this. So you're going to ask me radius, so I'll just put one. And if I go here, here, address my red. Okay, maybe I can, that is not going to show here. So it's going to jump to the function now. And this address and this address are same thing. Okay, here it's showing in the hexadecimal, and here I'm not going to be able to show it unless it does some magical trick. But anyway, address in non-hexadecimal is right here, and then of course usual computations take place. It's returned, <clears throat> and once again, this address stored in the main function, this address stored passed to the get sphere, they're the same. 
So when we pass by pointer, the address of the first block of the memory, which is being passed to the function is actually passed. That's always only four bytes. That's why you can pass large block of memory to a function without making large copies. That's very efficient. Okay, this is a demo of pass by pointer where large block of memory was not used. In the next video, number five, I would show you that large text can be passed to a function by pointer. Also, there will use a character pointer. When we pass character pointers, we just define a large block of memory using a character pointer and directly pass that. We don't define a string variable separate first. Anyway, that would be done in the next video. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.